Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and this is the second video of two part series on NF tables, the new packet filtering framework in Linux system. In part one, we learned the basic concepts behind NF table and looked at the syntax in detail. In this video, we'll do a live demo covering all that we have learned in part one and see how it works on a live system. All right, so if you have not seen part one, I highly recommend you pause this video and watch part one first. The link is in the description as well as at the top right corner of this video. All right, so now I assume you have watched part one and now with basics out of the way, let's see NF tables in action. All right, so I am on Zorin 16 system and right now I'm connected to the internet. The local IP address of this machine is 192.168.145.132. I can ping any website and also surf on the internet using the browser. Alright, so NFT is the tool to write NF table commands. Like I said in part one video, there are two ways we can define NF table rules. One by typing all NFT commands on the terminal one by one, which is not super efficient or convenient. And the second method is by typing all the commands in a text file, give it a .nft extension and then pass that file to NFT using a single command on the terminal. Or so let's start with the first way that is by typing NFT commands directly on the terminal. The first and the most basic command is to list tables, chains and rules. The command for that is sudo NFT list tables. Type in the sudo password. All right, so currently there are no tables. Now NFT commands are run using root or administrator privilege. To list all chains, the command is pretty similar. Instead of tables, we type in chains. And for listing rules, instead of chains, we type rule set. But since there is no table, it is obvious that there will not be any chains or rules. We know that chains and rules are defined inside a table. Now the first step is to create a table. The command for that, as we have seen in the first video, it's sudo nft add, then the keyword table, then uh, the family type, that is inet, then the name of the table that you want to give. Let's call it home firewall and then press enter. Now, inet is the family type of the table that is used for both IPv4 and IPv6 packets. Now, if you do not understand this family type of the table, refer to the part one video where we have discussed this in detail. Now, to see if the table has been created, type the command sudo nft list tables. And as you can see, our home firewall table has been created. But adding a table itself will not do anything. We need to create a chain and define rules for filtering packets. All right, so now let's move to step two, which is to create a chain under this table. And as discussed in the last video, there are two types of chain, base chain and regular chain. We have looked into both of them in detail, but to sum it up here, the base chain is a chain that will be traversed or come in the regular flow of traffic. A regular chain is not traversed directly until we give a jump or go to statement in a base chain. Also, a base chain contains the type hook and priority block, whereas a regular chain does not have it. So base chain is where the major portion of filtering is done. So let's create a base chain now. It's a pretty long command. So give your full attention. The command is sudo nft add, then the keyword chain, and then the family type of the table, which is inet in this case, then the table name, which is home firewall. And then the name of the chain that we want to give. Let's call this chain as input, all caps. And then we give the curly braces. And then type and it's going to be filter. Then the keyword hook and hook type we are going to give is input. And then is the priority, which will be zero. And then colon. And then the policy as accept. All right, so this is the command to create a chain. Now it's a pretty long command. And if I enter now, it uh, will give me a syntax error. Now this is because the command has a certain special characters like the colon and the curly braces. And this is 
what I was mentioning about the difficulty in typing these commands on the terminal. So in order for it to work, we need to prepend these special character with a backslash. So I'll just put backslash. All right, now if I press enter, now our command works. Due to the fact that it's a long command, there are more chances of some typos. So it's way easier to do this on a text file. But for better understanding, let's get through this complete command line method. Now let's check out if this chain has been created. So the command for that is sudo nft list chains. So as you can see under home firewall, we have created a new chain called input, which is the name of the chain. It will accept all the packets that are coming to the system. This is how a base chain is created. Now creating a regular chain is pretty simple. So the command is sudo nft and add chain. Then the type of the table inet table name home firewall and then the name of the chain that you want to give. Let's call it XYZ. All right, now press enter. Now let's check our chains. So as you can see, we have two chains input and XYZ. Now we do not need regular chain. So I'm just going to delete that. That command is sudo NFT delete and chain inet home firewall and the name of the chain, which is XYZ. Now press enter. And now if we list, we have deleted our XYZ chain. All right, now the third step is to define a rule. This is where the filtering is done. Chains gives us where the filtering is required to be done and rules states what needs to be filtered. Now let's say we want to block ping request on this computer. We can do that by blocking ICMP echo request packets. The command for that is sudo nft add rule, uh, then the family type of the table, which is inet, then the name of the table, home firewall, then the name of the chain, which is input, and then the protocol. Now there are multiple protocols available, which you can use to create rules. This is the list of all the protocols. For blocking ping packets, we use ICMP protocol because that is the protocol used for pinging. Then type, it would be echo request and then the action, which is to reject the packet. All right, now press enter. Now let's quickly check if our rule has been added. So now our rule has been added. Now let's try to ping this computer from another machine. All right, so this is the elementary OS6 system. Now let's try to ping the IP address of our Zorin machine. So the IP address was 192.168.145.132. As you can see, we are getting the message destination port unreachable. Now we got destination port unreachable because we have set the policy as reject. But if we delete this rule and instead of reject, we set the policy as drop, then we'll not get any reply packet at all. Let's try that and also check how to delete a rule in NF table. In NF tables, every rule is assigned a handle number and we delete a rule using that handle number. You can think of handle like a pointer to get list of all the handles, type the command sudo nft list table and the family type of the table inet and then the name of the table and dash a. Our rule has the handle number three. So the command to delete a rule is sudo nft delete rule. Then inet table name is home firewall. Chain name is input. Handle is three. Now press enter. Now let's again check if our rule has been deleted. All right, now it's gone. Now let's add the same rule, but instead of reject, we'll give the action as drop. Now press enter. Again, let's confirm. So the rule has been added. Now let's go to our elementary machine. All right, now let's try to ping our Zorin system. All right, so now there's no reply at all. There's no destination report unreachable reply. There's nothing. All right, so now let me stop this and go back to our Zorin machine. All right, so now I think you get a fair idea on how this works. Similarly, we can use other protocols as well. 
Now let's try to use IP protocol and try to block a website. Let's try that and this time we'll type commands on a text file. Right click and let's add a new text document. Let's open it. But first we need to find a website to block. And for this demo purpose, I am looking for a small a local website that is hosted on a single server so that we don't have to block several IP address. So let's search for a local furniture shop near me. Uh, Pepper Fry and Wooden Street, they are big sites and most probably they have multiple servers. Let's scroll down. Uh, all right, I, I think this website looking good furniture. I think it's something that I've not heard of and chances of this website hosted on one server is pretty high. So let's try to block this website using NF tables. First, we need to find out the IP address of this website. So I'm just going to ping the domain name and looks like they have blocked ping request, but we have got the IP address, which is 13.127.19.131. All right, so with this IP address, now we are ready to build our firewall to block this website. Let's go back to our text editor and let's type some code. All right, so the first line has to be the path of the NFT executable. So we start with the shebang character, hash, exclamation mark, and then the path of the executable and dash F at the end. All right, now we start with our code. Here, instead of writing separate commands for creating table, chain and rules, we write the complete code at once. So we start with the keyword table, then the family type of the table, which is inet, then the name of the table, let's give the name text firewall, then a curly brace, press enter to go to next line, press a tab, and then type the keyword chain. And let's give the name of the chain as output, again, a curly brace, press enter, and a tab. Now the type is going to be filter, now the hook. Now there are two ways to block a website. One is to block packets going to this particular IP address, which means we are blocking user of this computer from accessing the website. For this, we use the output hook. The second is to block packets coming from this website to this computer. Another similar scenario is any person with this IP address trying to get access to your computer. It could be the IP address of an attacker that you want to block. In that case, we use the input hook. Now you can choose any one of the approaches or have two rules for each approach. For demo purpose, let's try blocking access to this website, looking good furniture, by denying packets going out from this computer to this website. So hook will be output, and then priority is zero, policy is accept. All right, so this is the base chain. Now let's define a rule. So we type in IP, which is a protocol, and then we type destination address D A D D R, and then give the IP address of this website, which is 13.127.19.131, and then give the action as reject, give a colon. Now press enter and close all the open curly braces. All right, now let's save this file. And remember, we have to save it with .nft extension. Let me give the name of the file as text firewall.nft. And now we need to run our file using NFT on the terminal. The command is pretty simple. Type sudo nft dash f for file name and then give the file name. All right, so no errors. Now let's quickly check our rule set. Okay, we can see our newly created table with chains and rule has been added. All right, now let's try to ping the IP address and it doesn't work. Let's also try to go to this website using the browser and we do not get the website. All right, so we have successfully blocked this website access. All right, now the last thing I want to show you is how to make the code persistent even after reboot. Now this code will not work if you restart the computer now. To make your firewall persistent and work even after you restart your computer, you need to follow this procedure. First, make your firewall rules as we just did. Next, verify your rules are listed when you do NFT list rule set. Then copy this rule set to nftables.conf file. This is done by typing this command. All right, next type the command systemctl enable nftables. Make sure you type this command from root account. And that's all. Now 
even if you reboot the computer, your rules will still work. Alright, so that was how to define rules using a text file. You can see that in real world scenario where you have several rules, writing all the rules on a text editor is much better and more convenient. Alright, so that was how NFT works and how you can use it to create a firewall. There are several protocols available to define rules and you can try these yourself and see how it works. NF tables allows you to make pretty complex firewall using features like sets and maps. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, press the like button. And if you want to see more such videos and support this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you for supporting me. Alright, so thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.